Okum. Okum. Idiotic. Fucking. Idiotic shit I've ever seen. What the fuck is this like? Come on, man. I have this game. I've got a uh, mixed trailers by it. It could be good, could be one. I did enjoy Marvel's Avengers, but I did put it into a piece of post for an RPG. It works. It had... Well, it went... they made everything free. Got to the costume. I actually did try. Let's go on to this. Look at this. Fucking shit. No! Hardly, no. no! Worth it! The best part of Suicide Squad killed the Rap is off. The Justice League, after playing it for a few hours, is the story. And yes, it certainly seems like you will be killing characters you know and love. It, but yeah, no, the be, one of the best parts about Marvel's Avengers is had this story. I wish they had it going a bit more, but I will. Also, we've got a Batman Arkham. Who is a bit odd. Hey, your face always That's looks so. Non spirit, I believe. Lots of death happening here. That's also a big part of the problem I have with the entire premise. I can't help but shake that there's no way Rocksteady is going to let any of this stick. Our heroes have done terrible things. There will be a time reversal mechanic or some alternate Earth timeline that comes along and washes away all of the terrible awfulness that happens during the story. Or hear me out. James Gunn is a. Uh, all the games. Do the film universe. Why would he not just all this in the end of the. and put them all in the same universe? He wants all the games in one universe. It could be the end of Rocksteady for all like the last hurrah. Why well, it's live service. There are a lot of different versions of the characters. There's uh, Wally West, Barry Allen, Bart Allen, so on and so on, for the first. There's Don Stewart, Gal Gardner, I think his name is. And then Hal Jordan. There's, there's different versions of these characters. Don't need that. From enslaving a child form of poison ivy to straight Actually, what was that? ...is away all of the terrible awfulness. What was that that just happened? That happens during... That is quite a cool effect. I just saw... Oh, you can't sign in, From enslaving a child form of poison ivy to straight up watching your heroes murder people, there's a lot here. Heroes that have been corrupted doing bad things? Fuck it, I'm not gonna play this game now. How dare a bad human, not bad, a bad hero has been one shot, do something bad. God forbid, how dare we do something bad as a villain? Holy shit. Fuck it, hell. Here to make you feel a bit uncomfortable about the journey you're being taken on. Oh, I did it, okay? Oh, I put the bloody bomb in the head ages ago. What? what? And we That's not really a shot, but okay. When you pair this disconnect with game mechanics straight out of the likes of Destiny, Anthem, or Marvel's Avengers. Destiny is a fun game. I do enjoy Destiny. I'm not a sweat of it. Um, look. Right, so I've played 120 hours of Destiny. Well, to be fair, I've played about 250 hours of Forza Horizon 5. Oh, it's wrong with my life. Anyway. I'm left worried about the final product coming together in I a did way also enjoy that was a the bit fun. The fun just wasn't there for me. At least, not yet. Let me explain in more detail. The story has its fun moments, yes, and the team banter, at least during That's the cutscenes, is when Kill the Justice League is at its best. Awesome! Aw, he's so sweet! <laughs> he's not gonna make it. The cutscenes have clearly been given a lot of love. Meanwhile, the character models look great, the voice acting is on point. Yeah, I'm gonna the character models do look And there are a lot of love. Good. Look at these models. Meanwhile, 
It looks like the guy on the way out. Yeah, it looks like the guy on the way out. Look at him. While the character models look great, the voice acting is on point, and there are a lot of moments where I genuinely laugh thinking this could be enough to carry me through the messy and tired open world missions. While they could reverse time to fix the morality good. issues at play, chances are that will be difficult given the planned expansions, story additions, and gear chases coming later in the okay, so there will be expansions. That's form of free updates. That means we'll be stuck with the terrible things that transpire, and if the name sticks, stuck with a dead Justice League. At one point, the team puts a bomb in the head of Poison Ivy, who just happens to be a child. Children. Well, no, I thought like it's good that they're actually going to kill the Justice League. That makes sense. That's the whole point. People would be pissed off if they were about racing. It wasn't about racing. Pissed off if yeah. football game wasn't about football. Why would they be... I, I don't say why they'd be pissed off about game killing the Justice League. We don't kill them. But hey, they punch Boomerang for putting a bomb in her head. So let's move on from that whole enslaving a child thing. <laughs> I get it's Poison Ivy and this is kind of wall. I don't understand why she's a child. I know she got killed in Arkham 9 or that, but still. Thing, but I'm using it to illustrate a point. All of these things in one package feels like an odd mix. Rocksteady had a life. winning formula with the Batman games and is trying to write a completely new book. But so far, Lightning is not in this bottle. A live service game from Rocksteady is not what I had on my wish list this year. The team is single-handedly responsible for making some of the best combat I have ever experienced. The Predator sections in the- The problem is, in this combat, they've been overtaken by Spider-Man, like the Insomniac games, as well as a lot of other stuff. They need to innovate. Why the man too? That added a parry system. I know there's. That's oh, right, added a block system. Parry in Spider Man 1, sort of. It wasn't called a parry. Now there's actually a parry where you block and then. Hold an attack. They need to update the game, they can't have the same game over and over. The Arkham series also allowed you to tackle them with stealth or brute force, adding further flavor and variety to Bruce Wayne's vigilantism. To this day, in fact, you can find ridiculous takedown montages on YouTube and TikTok for Batman Arkham Knight. That's literally Spider-Man. Literally Spider-Man. YouTube and TikTok for Batman Arkham Knight. Unfortunately for Suicide Squad, once the fun story bits end, you're left with a much less inspired combat system and an open world that's filled with tedious tasks that are more about grinding through traditional tropes like point defense or collect the material and turn it in. There are shining moments with the combat, such as the powerful feeling of takedowns, and there does seem to be some depth to the build variety, but you'll do it surrounded That's by good. teammates who won't shut up with That's good. Build variety. Yes. That's good. That was a part of Kill the Not Kill the Destiny, that Avengers as well. That was good. That's good. That's brilliant. Why are you complaining? ...depth to the build variety, but you'll do it surrounded by teammates oh, who won't I'll shut up with stuff. their quips, which quickly becomes annoying. Every single fighting game. Every single open world game. 95, no, not 95, about 75% of games. Yeah. Feels Can good to be an Apex Predator. Right to chill, but that's just my UX design. Sometimes it's to the point. What the fuck was that? Was that? Uh, that you'll get two to three lines of dialogue overlapping while you're just waiting for your crew at a checkpoint. That's literally and when the combat game. does start, it has its fun moments, but it also has weird issues like long animations to regen your shield. Build. Or you'll get Wait, hold on a second. Go back. I'd like to point this out. I'd like to point this out real quick. Long animations three G. The fuck?
fuck is that, Mr. Iceland? That is sealed. Can you see? This guy's a fucking... Field, or you'll get knocked out of an animation for unclear reasons. I thought it was just me, but it also happens in this provide. I'll go on in a bit about this, so I saw another video about this specific bit. Oh, uh, look at this. I did footage straight from WB. Well, we have this provided boss fight footage against the Flash to reference. I just want to mention that I found this fight incredibly annoying. There's no indication of where the Flash is most times, and he's the Scarlet. No indication. Absolutely no indication whatsoever. Well, it's speedster, so he's just constantly zipping around the map. That didn't make the fight hard, it just made it frustrating. You get a handful of shots on him before he teleports to the next location, so you're just trying to chase him down or, no indication. or catch him standing in one spot long enough to get hits in before he does it all again. I do wish there was a bit of a he's down, get a moment. Rod is standing still. How is that not a he's down, get a moment, and standing still, running in a circle? But unfortunately, it seems like that trope wasn't used here. Now, WB also sent over some footage of an experienced shark player wrecking shop, so I'll include some footage of their gameplay in this video preview to show what it looks like when someone has played for hundreds of hours versus a couple of hours at a preview event. It looks not bad. It's a really tank card, I believe. Looks optimized. It actually looks pretty well optimized. In the well open optimized. world, however, missions tend to favor many of the tired and true types, which makes them feel a bit like uninspired filler. Like, stop me if you've heard this one before, you defend a point from waves of enemies that spawn. Sound familiar? I mean, that's true, but every game has done that. All the dudes who've done variations on that, you can that game 10 out of 10, so uh, shut the fuck up. Now imagine every time you defeat a handful of these enemies, you just stand around waiting with nothing to do. Almost like you wait for the point. Yeah. It is. This was exactly what happened during one of the core story missions, and the padding feels completely unnecessary. When the next quest started, I stood there while Amanda Waller called my character on comms and ba Oh really? Someone talked to someone on the phone. Character can't use quippy voice lines while ripping apart someone. Bantered with Poison Ivy before sending me back to the other end of the map to save citizens in a flying bus. Oh yes, I gave up traversal and combat. Not allowed to use traversal, okay. That looked like it's straight out of Fortnite. I hate this Task Force X. Where At least the Riddler puzzle. Out of Fortnite, where's the fucking balloon? Where's the balloon, mate? Puzzles are making a return from the Arkham games, bringing at least. No. 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 <laughs> One familiar fun activity to Suicide Squad's Metropolis. Within the city's fiscal stash. Why though? Why? Oh, fucking Gotham, it's Metropolis. Like Luther sits upon your cat. At least I hope they're fun because I didn't actually get to solve any of them. The potential saving grace. Oh, yes, commented on something before I played it. That's good. For all my gripes, could be that the whole combat system comes together a lot better when you get to sit down and actually make a build. Which we didn't have a chance to do right away. We all time when you make your character how you want to, you have more fun. In breaking journalism. At the preview event. For some context, we started playing through the same tutorial from the beta and picking a character, Deadshot in my case. After that, we jumped straight into Chapter 3 where I tried out Shark because the character I had been playing on was taken. What I didn't realize was that Chapter 3 gives you complete build control, and having played on a different class, it took me a bit of our session to get warmed up to the new movement mechanics Shark has compared to Deadshot. We all complain that characters have different movement mechanics, right? Is that right? 
If we look back at that provided flash gameplay, it looks like the player has a good grasp at movement, but it all comes back to similar core mechanics. I see that moment. I see that fucking. Aim gun, this shoot gun, absolute, and those core yeah. mechanics in a game like Destiny really save it. Here, it just feels samey across the board, even with each character's abilities sprinkled in. Save me. Save me. Fucking save me. I'll love a sec. I'd like to point out this is what this. Let's have a look at the last few. That's a mobile game, that's not fair. Let's see that one again. 9.1. 9.2. 8 8.5, that's a literal remaster. 0 0.7, yeah. 8. 8.5. 8 8. 9. 9. 5. This is literally a failed multiplayer mode. I've had more truth combat. Yeah. It's very much the same. Yeah, they're good at, at least eight or nines. That's a nice moment right there. I didn't really get time to look at my gear stats and throw something together to try out, but I did try a build recommendation from Jack Hackett, production manager at Rocksteady. But again, I didn't really have enough time to get used to how it's supposed to flow together. However, his excitement about the build possibilities does continue to give me a glimmer of hope. To get I'd like to point out they're not playing throughout the game, so they won't know how to play, but I know. As a person who's literally doing games, design development in college, this guy's talking waffle. Absolute waffle. Give you a taste of what you'll be looking at in terms Bro, of complexity, you go to the waffle there house. are weapon afflictions that attach an elemental effect to weapons like deep freeze that does cold damage for a period of time. Penguin will you craft new weapons, shield mods, traversal this, mods, or grenades. Different. And there are some interesting guns here, like Bugs a Poppin, that will not do damage to a Terminant, but will slow down every enemy within 10 meters. And there That's was this good. one slot machine grenade that was also pretty fun. Each character also has a skill tree they can upgrade. Doesn't IGN yeah, look, you know, or test loot boxes? What are they for it? It seems like gambling. All I'm saying. And all of that is on top of weapons and mods that work together to give you passive buffs when you pair, say, two gizmo gear pieces together to do more burning damage. But with the. Oh, is it gizmo? It's not the maker, is it? It's a gizmo, fella. Trade off um, that grenades do fifty percent less damage, but have a one hundred percent chance to burn all enemies. I know I've been really hard on Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League in this preview, and believe me, I really want to be wrong about it. Not only you are, I think I've played that tell you you are because that how shit works. Is Rocksteady one of my favorite developers? But this genre is one I've spent far too much time in across Destiny, Anthem, and yes, even Marvel's Avengers. I don't play this genre. The player doesn't like the genre, he's still playing it. But while there is a story here that makes me wonder where the heck it's all going, I left the preview even less optimistic than when I came in. Here's hoping Suicide Squad wins me back when it releases on February 2nd. Oh, far from that. Are you excited about Suicide Squad? Let me know why. Oh, let me show you something real quick. I also want to uh, show you this thing. I saw on TikTok, which is the whole reason I made this video. Sometimes it's to the point that you'll get two to three lines of dialogue overlapping while you're just waiting for your crew at a checkpoint. Yes. Checkpoint. And when the combat does start, it has its fun moments, but it also has weird issues like long animations to reach yep, your shield. Yeah, it does this as well. Or you'll get knocked out of an animation for unclear reason. Yep reasons. I thought it was just me, but it also happens in this provided footage straight from WB. I, I didn't notice that. Get out of the way. We have this provided boss fight footage against the Flash to reference. I just want to mention that I found this fight incredibly annoying. There's no indication of where the Flash is most times, and he's the Scarlet Speedsters. 
Yeah, and I just bought that just as well. constantly zipping around the map. That didn't make the fight hard, it just made it frustrating. You get a handful of shots on him before he teleports to the next location, so you're just trying to chase him down or catch him standing in one spot long enough to get hits in before he does it all again. Literally just how it works. Exactly, this mug shot is cocky, it's not, it's cocky anyway, but it's cocky in this mug shot. I do wish there was a bit of a he's down, get a moment, but unfortunately... It... I'd like to point out, although this video went safe by it, that's what the tornado bit is, mate. Shoot him. It seems like that trope wasn't used here. Oh yes, Lego, my favourite video game. Now, WB also sent over some footage of an experienced shark player wrecking shop, so I'll include some footage of their gameplay in this video preview to show what it looks like when someone has played for hundreds of hours versus a couple of hours at a preview event. Yeah, that's everything. I think then sort your shit out. Next week, let's look at Ubisoft or some shit. I don't fucking know anymore.